Welcome to Oregon Connections. In this video, we will cover how to set up a profile for volunteers and professionals. After you go to OregonConnections.nepris.com, this is the screen that you will see. The sign-in box is on the right-hand side. You will select the box that says, Do not have an account. Sign up for free. Now, as we go through the process of setting up this account, you will see these boxes auto-fill in. I will be pasting in information to make the process go faster. If you need to slow down, just hit the pause button and continue when you're ready. First thing you want to do is fill in this information. When you've inputted in all your information, click sign up. You should see in green letters that your account was created successfully. When that you see that, put in the password that you inputted and hit sign me in. The next step in setting up your profile is inputting basic information about yourself into the system. The race and ethnicity are not required, but you can put that information if you would like to. When you have input all that information, click Save and Proceed. Step two of the process is to select how you're going to be represented within Oregon Connections. Are you an industry professional, educator, administrator, curriculum specialist, or other? We are setting up an industry professional or volunteer profile, so select that one. And what type of organization do you work in? Corporation or agency is most likely this one, so let's go for that one. Save and proceed to step three. When you get to step three, you will be putting information about yourself, what you do within the company, and your company. The more information that you put into this step of the process, the better it will be when you're being matched with educators in the field so they know your skills and how you can best support them within their classroom. All of the boxes where it lists your job title, your skills, specialties, are all autofill. So you can start to type in your skills and, and specialties in the boxes and it will autofill in there for you. It is a good idea to put multiple skills and specialties within these boxes. It's best to put as many skills and specialties within these boxes as possible to really open up the matchmaking capabilities of this website. If you just put one or two skills and specialties in, you won't be matched to very many teacher requests that go through the system. But if you input many different skills and specialties that cover a wide range of what you do within your company, it will really utilize the system in a much better way. When you get to the affiliations section, you do not have to put something in there. If you are affiliated with a group like the South Metro Salem STEM Hub, you can put that in there. And the next box is how you would like to volunteer. There are multiple different ways that you can be a part of Oregon Connections and the teachers in the classroom. You could be an in-school volunteer or mentor if you're coming to do a talk or something along those lines. Out-of-school volunteer or mentor, so you're helping with after-school groups and things like that. Company visit or field trip, which means students are coming to you to view your site. Job shadowing, externship, internships for high schools, internships for college, or doing STEM camps or workshops. If you're willing to do multiple of these different things, select all of the different options that you are willing to participate in. When you're finished with that, let's go to continue to dashboard. So you have set up an account through Oregon Connections and you're now able to use the Oregon Connections system, but there's still more that you can do to make your profile more descriptive about yourself and what you do within your field of expertise. The biggest thing that you can do is add a short biography of yourself. Now the more information that you add in the biography, the better it will be. When you finish with the biography, click Save. And this is the main screen that you will see each time that you log into Oregon Connections. For more information on the layout of this home screen and how to use all the features, watch the next video called Navigating the Dashboard. Thank you. Thank you for using Oregon Connections. For links to more tools and resources, check the descriptions below. Thank you for watching.